Hey guys, it's Di and I have a Sephora haul to show you today and my Sephora order I placed online and I just received it in the mail today and then I also popped into Ulta this morning and picked up a few things so I figured I would just go ahead and put them on the end of this video just to show you some of my recent beauty purchases and some of the things I'm most excited about trying out right now and the main thing that I got from Sephora was this Oz the Great and Powerful palette by Urban Decay. This is the Glinda the Good Witch palette and I'm so excited about this. I saw these and I knew I really, really wanted to try this one. And I really liked the colors in this one a lot better than the other one. And also, I'm just a fan of Glenda the Good Witch just because she's, you know, pretty in the Good Witch. So it's this really gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I'm especially excited about trying out this color down here in the bottom and also Tornado, which is this really, really pretty purple. This really great kind of grayish, shimmery color down here at the bottom. I think it has some really, pretty, really unique colors in it and then also just some really, really pretty colors that I think will be usable as well. So Tornado... It seems like it's going to be pretty usable. Magic, I don't know if I'm going to use that. It's a little bit on the pink side. And Illusion is this one down here at the bottom. It's a little bit lighter than Sin. I have a really great time with Urban Decay eyeshadows. They work really well for me. So I was very excited when I saw this palette. And the purple pencil that is in here is just the 24-7 pencil in Rockstar, which is the one that I already have. But this will be like a nice little travel size to use. And I also was excited about this lip color. The lip color is called Glinda and it's a super saturated high gloss lip color and it's kind of like a pinky neutral color. It's very very pretty. Honestly the NARS New Lover, this is a little bit more nude than that but it reminds me a little bit of that. It looks very very wearable and then it also came with a little card to kind of give you an idea of how to get the look and so I like you know that they when they include those cards it's very helpful so this was just a very cute palette I was excited when I saw those online and I knew that that was going to be part of my order and then the other things that I got from Sephora were just my Bumble and Bumble spray that I always use this is the spray to mode hairspray I find that, that works really well with my hair and then I got Okay, I'm going to try to say this correctly. You guys help me out with this. The L'Occitane hand cream. I'm going to be getting some more of this. This one's the more of the floral one, the Pavone floral one. Um, anyhow, I thought that this would be great for spring. And this, these are just a really great size to like throw in my purse and that sort of thing. So I like that. I had a coupon code for the Coach Love, which is a new kind of perfume they have out. I think the bottle is really pretty on these, so I got the deluxe sample of that to try. I also used 100 points and got the Volcanic Minerals Coors Mascara to try as well. And then I got two Sephora lip colors, and I actually will go ahead and open these. So this is a lipstick, and this is just Duchess, and I thought it was a really, really pretty pink color, and I thought that this would be, like, kind of nice and fun for spring. And it's sheer, but very shimmery. I just really thought that, that looked like a pretty pink. So I'm looking forward to using that in the springtime. And then this was the really, really interesting thing that I found on Sephora.com. This is called Unique Pink, and Sephora calls this the color reveal lip balm and when I read the reviews people were saying that this was very very similar very very close to the Dior lip glow which I absolutely love and so you can see this is what the Dior lip glow looks like and I've been using this every day before I put on my makeup and they do look very very similar so it's going to be interesting to see how well the Sephora one works, and I really like using this as almost like a lip primer before I put my lipsticks on. So I'm interested to see how close the Sephora one is to the Dior one, because obviously this Dior one is $30 a tube, which is quite pricey. And since I've really started liking it, I've started going through it a ton. And at $30 a tube, you know, I'd love to keep one in my purse and one in my vanity, but it's starting to get really pricey for just some lip balm. So when I saw this online on Sephora, this is a Sephora collection brand, and these are only $12. So at $12, you can get three of them, basically, for the price of one Dior one, and you could have one in your purse, one in your vanity, one in your gym bag, wherever you wanted them. So I'm very, very interested to try this, and I will let you guys know what I think about it. I'm really, I have high hopes for it. I really think that it may be a good duplicate, and it's called Unique Pink. It's got little lips on the top. It's very, very cute. So then this morning, I popped into Ulta just to kind of see what, I didn't have a specific list, but I wanted to look 
look at the Mario Budishi things. And this is actually the thing that stood out. I ended up getting this special hand cream with vitamin E. My hands have been very dry lately. It's very cold where I live. And I thought that this looked like something good to try. I really like the L'Occitane hand lotions, but I was looking for something that may be even a little bit heavier duty to use at night before I go to sleep and that sort of thing. So I got that to try. And then they also had all of the body shop items were on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. I got the Sugar Body Scrub in the Shea scent. It's just very nice and light, and I'm always looking for good body scrubs, so I thought I would try that one. And then I got one of the Mango Body Butters. I really love these. I like to usually have one on hand. They're just kind of nice, soothing body lotion. And then I also got this nail polish. It's from the new Euro collection, which I love the teal from this collection. I may definitely have to go back and get it. Um, it's OPI Glitter Color, and it's called Polka.com. And it's just really, really cool. It's glitters in pink, kind of a bluish purple and then a teal color and it looked really really neat on the swatch so I'm going to be very interested to try this and they also had some really pretty kind of purples and pinks I thought I had a lot that were close to the purples and pinks but the teal color seemed very unique so I may go back and get that one as well but this glitter really stood out to me I don't have a lot of glitter polishes for as much nail polish as I do have so I thought that this would be a great addition to my collection and something that I could enjoy using in the spring it's kind of like a festive we're happy it's warmer outside polish color and also I was going to mention I didn't get any in this trip to Ulta I probably will get some at the end of the month I use Coors products I use especially like the under eye cream and at my Ulta anyways I believe it should be all of them Coors products were 25% off until the very end of the month I believe it ends like March 2nd that the sale ends so the eye cream that I usually use is around $29 regular retail and it would have been $22 on the sale so I definitely want to stock up on those and I thought I'm not even close to running out of the one that I have so I thought I would just go ahead and wait till like maybe the end of the month and pick up at least one tube of that while it's on sale because I thought that that was a pretty good deal so I thought I'd let you guys know about that. If you use Coors products, they're on sale. You might check out your Ulta. I'm not sure if they're on sale online as well. But I'm very excited about the Sephora order. I have a lot of fun stuff to use to start thinking about spring. And I will let you guys know about this unique pink. I have very high hopes for it. And I'm really hoping it would be a nice duplicate for the Dior Lip Glow because I love using it, but obviously very pricey. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this haul. I'm starting to gear up for spring. I'm really thinking like lighter colors and that sort of thing now. So let me know what your favorite items for the spring are. I am thinking about trying that Tarte Journey to Natural set that I know a lot of people are talking about right now. So if you've tried that and you love it, let me know. And let me know if you've tried the Oz palettes as well and if you love those too. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.